Welcome back everyone! This is Jaronitis bringing you Feed the Beast 1.6. Today we are starting on episode 95. 95! You know, we're getting really close to 100 episodes, and I didn't know if I was going to make it to 100 episodes or not. But I think I am. I think I am. I might even push past it, depending on how it goes. I've got this episode and five more to make a total of 100, so... Why do I have a vacuum hopper in the middle of nothingness? I do not know. That is a good question. Get down from there, you. So at the end of last episode, I was running around gathering seeds. So I have some seeds here. Um, I've, these are all the different seeds I've gathered for the Pneumaticraft stuff, and we'll get into that eventually. Uh, probably not this episode, though, because I have more pressing matters. Uh, I actually dug this section out to be a Pneumaticraft section, and we'll get into that as well. However, uh, I also have the witchery seeds and stuff upstairs, but uh, I'll get to that in a minute. Right now, the problem we're having is this is what we're dealing with. We have power that is going away rapidly. Um, now, granted, I do have a couple of these extra resonant energy cells, but uh, right now I have officially run out of charcoal. As you can see, there's nothing going on in these steam dynamos, and uh, I don't like that. I don't like having nothing happening in my steam dynamos. That really just kind of irritates me, and that conduit cover is placed wrong. Ah, I'll deal with that in a minute as well. So uh, the problem is that um, you know keeping charcoal constantly burning is something that I don't really want to have to do. Uh, I want things to run without me having to worry about them like ever again. You know, I turned off the tree farm, and it caused a problem because I ran out of charcoal, and I ran out of wood, and then I turned the tree farm back on, and because I'm a genius, I didn't realize that, oh, crap, it did it. So, yeah, here's all my chestnuts. Isn't it nice to see all my chestnuts? This farm is doing so great with its chestnuts. So I turned the tree farm back on, and it destroyed my chestnut production. So, yeah. So, um, you know, just for reference, you should not put your uh, tree farm so close to your tree farm. It uh, doesn't work out well. So what I'm going to wind up doing is I'm going to wind up shrinking this tree farm. I'll make it smaller and I'll make the harvester uh, harvest a smaller area. Uh, currently, the harvester is set with a radius increase of 7. I'm going to give it a radius increase of 5. And see how this all works out. I will do that off camera because you don't need to see me resizing this. And then, of course, we'll have to replant my entire chestnut farm. Um, that being the case, eh, I'll do that off camera as well because, you know, replanting that stuff is not that big a thing. And changing the radius is not that big a thing either. However, uh, because of that particular difficulty, I got really irritated with the whole tree farm thing and decided that I'm going to do something to get away from tree farming. So to get away from tree farming, we are going to visit Honeycomb Hideout. Da -da -da. Hello, Honeycomb Hideout. Did you miss me? It's been a while. How are you guys doing? You don't have a queen. You do. It turns out that apparently, yeah, most of my cultivated bees are disappearing. Because apparently the drones from the cultivated bees, somehow the drones were carrying the ignoble trait and were forcing the queens to become ignoble, and then with the ignoble, they just kind of went away. Ow, ow. Ow. See, this one's empty. So, I, I, unfortunately, a lot of my production has gone down. It's it's kind of disturbing, really. Uh, so, since the production... Here's another one gone. Uh, since the production has gone downhill, I am going to go ahead and reverse... Uh, not reverse. I'm going to go ahead and put a stop to this for now. And we're going to change directions on it. You see, look at all these drones I'm getting. All these drones and no queens. This is very disturbing. The one, of course, the ones that kill me in every possible way are still working just fine. So anyway, we're going to get back into this because I'm going to use the bees to produce power for me. Because I'm tired of getting stung. My god, am I going to die? Seriously, guys, you got to quit that. 
I know, I didn't take the time to make you not deadly anymore, but still. I mean, there's a point where you have to just quit. Yes, it's poison. It won't kill me. Stop already. Ha! I said stop already, and it stopped immediately. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do some bee breeding. All right, so I don't want to breed on camera because, first off, it's not that interesting. Second off, it's, oh, my God, irritating. And uh, I don't want to, to yell at you guys because you watch me to be entertained, not have me yell about how horribly it is to breed some of these bees. So we'll be back in just a minute. I'm going to do a couple of the basic breedings and get them set up. And I'll come back in a minute when I want to show you something very specific about this particular breeding that I'm going to be doing. So we'll be back in just a minute. And we're back. So I've done a little bit of stuff off camera. Nothing you need to worry about at the moment. I'll reveal it all here in a little while. Um, I wish this thing would stop, like, disappearing on me. Thank you. Hey, you two. Can't fly, not a bat. Whatever. So I have come all the way out here. Um, as you can see, I am almost, you know, 729 meters from home. This is the nearest available ocean biome. As you can see right here by F3, it says there that I'm in the ocean, okay, because we need to make ocean bees, okay? So ocean bees uh, require water bees and diligent bees to come together. However, if you notice this 10% here is in red. If the 10% is in red, that means that there is a specific set of circumstances that have to be met. So if you mouse over it, it says hive needs to be in ocean. So we've come to this ocean bi biome to try to make some ocean bees. Uh, I've done, you know, it's been a little while since I recorded the last segment. I've been breeding bees back at the at uh, Honeycomb Hideout, and I'll show you what all is going on with them here in just a little bit. Oh, sweet, we got an ocean. Why didn't it take the drone? Okay, it did. I was about to say, there's something not quite right about that. So, we wound up with a no honey. Really? Really? No honey drops? Of all the things I could have been out of, it's honey drops? Which, by the way, we now have... Oh, I'm sorry, 14,000. Those are other... We have 43,000 honey drops. Whoops, I forgot deep storage units do that now. Yeah, 43,000 honey drops. I think we're not going to be worrying about honey anytime soon. Alright, so we got water diligent. And we got water diligent. And we got ocean diligence, okay? So we're going to keep the ocean one, and we're going to go through this one a couple more times. Uh, when I get the ocean bees bred, as you can see, I got an ocean partial because I'm in an ocean biome. Uh, even if you weren't in an ocean biome, you can continue to breed them. However, nothing will happen. They will just continuously breed, but you'll never, ever get ocean. The fact that I have a par partial ocean drone is showing me that I'm already making progress because I'm in an ocean biome. You can't even get the partial drones unless you are in the ocean biome. And it says it's nighttime. That shouldn't happen. Wait for it. Wait for it. I love ours magical sunrises. Bing! Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Get back to work. So we'll be back in a minute once I get some ocean bees settled out and stabilized. And then I will reveal to you where we're actually heading with all this, and hopefully I'll be able to get there. Uh, again, I'll be doing the breeding off camera, so you'll just see the results, but uh, uh, no ocean this time. So we'll be back once I actually get the ocean bees. Ooh, diligent, diligent, yuck. Diligent, diligent, yuck. Water ocean. I don't like having diligent, diligent. I only have so many princesses. Eh, we'll put that together, and we'll be back in another minute. All right, we're back, and uh, that was, like, surprisingly painful. Uh, as you can see, I've got quite a few uh, drones here that didn't wind up making it. I wound up getting a pure ocean princess at one point, but I didn't have a drone to go with her, so I put her back in, and then she turned into a pure diligent after the next one, and, yeah, it was a, a bit of an annoyance, but that's, you know, it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's not the end of the world yet. So let's see, we're going to toss this ocean in here, and this ocean in here, and that one in there, and we'll let this see if we can wind up with a ocean species serum before this is all said and done, and go. <clears throat> so now that we have ocean bees, we want to go ahead and let them cycle through a couple times so we can get some extra drones. 
Ocean and ocean. You guys are going to have to figure your stuff out because... Oh, humidity damp. I wonder if that's going to make it not work. I don't think so. Well, it's not saying it is anyway. So we'll get back to that in just a minute. We'll let them cycle through, although I should probably put a uh, oblivion frame in there to make it work faster. You get to work faster. All right, good. So now that we've got that going, what we are going to wind up doing, what we're doing all this to reach is actually, you know what, first... Where, oh, where is the... Nothingness at. I could have sworn I had a void. Ah, there's the trash can. I knew I had a trash can around here somewhere. You guys get out of here because I don't want to see you anymore. And you too. I'm not even getting started with you. All right, so um, anyway, what we actually want to get here, we want to actually get to where we can have... Refined bees. Okay, refined bees are going to be oily press distilled. Okay, they're going to produce oil and fuel for us to use. Okay, so we're going to do oily plus distilled. Well, distilled is oily plus industrious, so we need to get oily first. Oily is primeval plus ocean. Well, primeval I actually got already while I was breeding off camera. And not only that, but I actually managed to get the species serum as well. Most you, uh, here we go, species. I wound up getting the pre primeval, but primeval was, uh, I guess I should probably tell you about that first, huh? Oily, primeval plus ocean. Uh, ancient plus noble is primeval. And of course, noble plus diligent is ancient. So I managed to get all that through. And now we're going to try to get the oily from primeval plus ocean. So first thing we're going to have to do is let these other bees cycle through a little bit until I can get some extra ocean drones and get the species serum for them as well. So we're going to go ahead and let them run for a minute. And then we'll be back one more time after I finally get through the breeding process and get, hopefully anyway, up to the refined bees. So we'll be back in one more minute. And yes, there's a lot of jump cuts for one episode, but... I figured it's better than having five episodes of me just breeding to get one type of bee. So uh, if you don't like the so many jump cuts, tell me in the comments. I don't really like doing them, but, you know, hey, it's I think it's saving time and making people happier. So we'll be back in another minute once we get that done. And I'm back. Uh, <laughs> it's actually been an entire day uh, since I was last recording that last segment. Uh, sorry that was a bit longer, but uh, these bees did not want to breed. But I finally now have finished gotten, getting them, godding them. I finished godding them. Did you know I finished godding them? I finished getting them bred up, and now... Actually, let's just pull these for a second, and I'll show you. Uh, we now have the refined, refined, uh, normal lifespan. I gave them fast uh, speed. I gave them flowers pollination because they were in lily pads and stuff. I gave them extra fertility, and I also uh, gave them all the temperature tolerances. It got really annoying at one point because they required a damp biome, and I had to go do that, and that was annoying as well. So they are they only work during the day. They don't work at night. They don't work in the rain, and they don't work if they can't see the sun. But that doesn't matter because of Ars Magica. I have that all taken care of, so I don't have to worry about it. So now that we have this taken care of, these guys can cycle for a little bit. <coughs> And make me a bunch of extra drones. Speaking of which, give me... I'm going to take three of these drones. Oh, no. I analyzed those drones. They're all now going to be... They won't stack anymore. So let's uh, throw these in here. Let us hope for a refined serum. A species serum. And until we get that going, let's go ahead and start on the next phase of this. So these guys are going to make stuff for me. And I still have to go fix my tree farm. Dag... Gummit, I've been spending so much time breeding bees, I forgot to go fix my, uh, change the radius and fix my bees. Uh, whatever the case may be. Um, anyway, so, these guys are going to produce enough, uh, to get these guys to produce enough oil and, um, and, um, fuel, 
uh, to get them to produce enough combs to have that be possible, we're going to have to use the alvearies, but the alvearies aren't going to be enough. At least I don't think so. And I really don't need any more Imperial anything because at this point I have so much Royal Jelly and so much pollen that it is kind of ridiculous. You know, I don't even know what the Ender Queen is making, but I'm going to leave her there because reasons. All right, so... One of the things we want to be able to do is to make it so that they work even better in the alvearies. Okay, so let's see. One, two, this is the second alveary, and I believe those are the ones that I just emptied. Let's check. I said let's check. Okay, we're not going to... Fine. I don't think I came all the way down that far. I, mean, I must have not have, because... It showed those there. Did I go all the way down to the bottom row? I did. All right, so cool. One of the things we're going to do is we're going to increase the output of the alvearies. Uh, to do so, we're going to add frames to it. And you might wonder, how do you do that? Because there are no frame slots. As you see right here, there aren't any. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take some of this stuff with me because it doesn't matter because it's not doing anything at the moment. And I'm going to use these pieces, assuming I can get the actual pieces. Uh, back to bat form. You know what? Next episode, assuming I get what I want to get done this episode, next episode we're getting flight. Because transforming back and forth, which was really cool at the beginning, is now just annoying because I don't like being bigger than small and then bigger than small and so on. All right, so let's see. How many alveary blocks do I have left over? Oh, I don't have any in here. They must be over there. By the way, it, the reason I'm taking away the Imperial and Industrious... Um, there we go. I have 11,000 Pollen and 10,000 Royal Jelly. I don't think I'm going to run out anytime soon. So, uh, that being the case, we can take those out and we're going to use them to produce... Uh, refined bees more frequently. Alright, so I think I should have some alveary blocks here. Seriously? What happened to all my extra alveary blocks? I swear I made extras. Hmm. No. Oh, well, yeah, that's where they would be being made. Oh, I wonder if I just made extra scented paneling and never made them into alveary blocks. That could very easily be. Let's check for scented paneling. Oh, yeah. 1,294 scented panels. So, yeah, I think we're okay. Uh, let's see. Alveary. Make a normal alveary block. And, yeah, I think we're good to go. We can go ahead and make some more of this stuff. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually make... The nope, fan, heater, no, hydro regulator, stabilizer, lighting, sieve, no, it's not here. I wonder why that is. It should be a frame housing. There it is. Oh, because it's just frame housing. It doesn't say alveary on it. Ah, whatever. So to make the frame housings, we're going to need the alveary block. We're going to need iron, and we're going to need golden electron tubes. Did I actually have any of those golden electron tubes? Nope, I did not. But that's okay, because we have the thing that makes them. All right, so we're going to need gold, redstone in the thermionic fabricator. And we happen to have the thermionic fabricator still set up from the last time we were doing this. So now we need some gold. We can put that together real quick. And here it is where we did not take it away. Hopefully we don't lose too much in the way of power. I had to actually go ahead and throw some stuff in these uh, steam dynamos because I was losing power ra rather quickly. Um, and I was worried about running out completely. So, oh cool, I can actually just put this in here. And then we can make them. What's wrong? Why isn't it working? Okay. Golden electron tubes. That's gold ingots and redstone with melted glass. Oh, it has no... Why doesn't it have power? Because it drains. Oh, man, how annoying is that? 
Okay, so the thing is, anytime you have the thermionic fabricator set up, it actually uses power. You, it, it's just constantly a drain. Okay, and that's why there was nothing there. I had this set up earlier, but because it took me too long to get it actually ready to run, it actually got all weird on me. So, that's why. As you see, it's now taking power back. Let's go ahead and set this up while we're waiting for it to get enough power to actually work. All right, there we go. That's a lot better. All right, so that should be plenty of those. What did I run out of? I didn't run out of anything. Oh, I ran out of liquid glass. That's okay. We'll leave that there for now. It can drain power because hopefully here shortly we will not be worried about power drainage. All right, so let's toss these and these and this and these and let's go ahead and make frame housings okay uh nope i have to actually be in the crafting terminal to be actually able to make the frame housings i swear i i keep doing that and i'm just going to take out the normal access terminals because they're more annoying than anything else all right so that gave us 40 40 frame housing should be plenty so let's see there's actually a couple other things i want to do just having the frame housing isn't going to be good enough. The frames will actually get used up rather quickly, and we don't want to have to worry about that. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to, let's see, we're going to need some buses. We're going to need an export bus and an import bus. Um, precision import bus should be fine. Precision export, yeah, yeah, actually, well, sure, why not? I got the stuff. I can make it. All right, and of course we're going to need some cable, and we should be able to hook in and start making, or auto-making, um, the frames that I want. Let's see. Carpenter with seed oil, excellent. So behind here, yep, 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 over to there, good. Now where's the ME system right here? Oh, good. There it is. Excellent. So let's see. We should be able to... Oh, let's break that and that. We don't need these anymore because we're going to put this into a permanent reproduction. Lose that. Oh, oh, actually, we don't even need the import bus because it's automatically piping out. So that's excellent, too. So let's see. We're going to go ahead and run this cable around here. And there, now I can't get out. I meant to do that. Maybe I should actually run this from the other side, where it would make more sense. There we go. Excellent. So now we should be able to export wood into here. I'll have to get a piece of wood to show it that I want to. You know what? That portal gun's got to get put away. It leads to the ocean biome, and that's fine. I shouldn't need the ocean biome anymore, but... We're not going to assume that. So, all right, good. Let's go ahead back over here, and we should be able to export wood into the carpenter by the stack. Excellent. So that's keeping that filled up. And now we should be making impregnated sticks. Why isn't this working? Um... Why isn't this working? Hmm. This doesn't make any sense. This should be working. I don't understand why it's not. Recipe from pregnated sticks. Any kind of wood in a carpenter. Unless for some reason oak wood doesn't work, but that doesn't make any sense. So why aren't you working? Is there something wrong with my carpenter? What's going on here? Okay, fine. We're going to break and replace the carpenter. Oh gosh, what a mess I just made. Alright, good. 
I do not have any idea why it would want to do this right now. Of all times, I'm recording. But that's okay. Figuring these things out is part of what I do. Alright, so... Carpenter. Be replaced. Get wood and that. Make this. And it's showing that it's made, but nothing's happening. Hmm... No progress bar. I wonder if something happened that has caused this to stop functioning. I don't know. I'll have to worry about that later. For now, let's go ahead and go over here. And we will scold the cat for being really loud. Because she says, you're recording. I want your attention. All right. So we're going to go ahead and place these here in the back. And it should reform the multi-block. Should reform the multi-block. Would you stop doing that? And it's not reforming the multi-block. Why is it not reforming the multi-block? Ah, there we go. Okay, it was just really slow. Oh, oh yeah, and that reminds me. Multi-block form! Because I have to say it. It's my thing. All right, cool. So now that we have that there, we can check on our refined bees over here. And see if we got a whole bunch of extra drones now. No. You are as slow as Christmas. Maybe slower. Alright, we're going to go ahead and take this queen out of here just because. And we'll come back to use these drones to create more like her here in just a minute. But now that we have this queen operational, we can go ahead and put her in here. And she will go ahead and start taking life tick damage, okay? So, instead of taking normal life tick damage, we're going to go ahead and come over here, and we're going to see what frames do we have. Let's see. We've got magic frame, impregnated frame, untreated frame, chocolate frame. I guess we're going to go with impregnated. I really would have thought that we would have had some proven frames where we bought them from villagers, but apparently not. That's okay. So we can put one frame housing, or one frame in each frame housing, and they actually will all uh, function as if they were a normal al uh, apiary. So now she has three frames that are also helping her along. She has all the excess stuff that she wants to have. So actually, let's see. She is going to produce, if we hit U on her. Uh, no, I want to see her stuff, her productions. How do you... Recipes? No. Uses. No. Okay, I happen to know for a fact that she makes a uh, refined comb. Let's see. Let's just go with... Whoops. What did I... Oh. Dang. I am doing horrible. Oh, what? Thank you. Thank... Ugh. You ever get that time where you're just like, wow, everything hates me? <laughs> this is that time. Ah, here we go. Oily combs are produced by oily bees, but uh, they also do an old comb. No. Ah, here we go. Refined bees produce oily combs 10% of the time and petroleum combs 4% of the time. And, of course, petroleum combs... Um, or dictionary, though. Centrifuge. There we go produce petroleum propolis 60% of the time. And petroleum propolis, when squeezed, gets you fuel. Half a bucket of fuel per petroleum propolis. So we're going to be running stuff off of fuel once we get this set up to actually function and produce fuel at a decent pace. Okay, so uh, I don't know why uh, that's not working the way I want it to, but uh, we're going to ignore it not working the way I want it to, and we're going to go ahead and work on a couple of other things. Um, we're going to go ahead and get the automation of this particular process started up. So we're going to run back over here, and we're going to have to tell the machine, because I'm actually going to stay in bat form even though the view is weird now, and we're going to tell the system that we're going to need quite a bit more ME cable. Make me two stacks just because. I probably won't actually need two whole stacks worth, but we're going to take extra just because. 
Alright, don't need that or that or that or that or that or that or that. But I'll take the cable I have so far. And the next thing we're going to need is some buses. Uh, I can use just basic export buses here because I'm only gonna, it can only hold one item at a time in here. And therefore we're going to go ahead and be exporting one item at a time. So this is why we're going to do it because this simplifies things. Or it should anyway. All right, good. So now we've got these and we've got this. All right, so the big thing here is what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and run this over here and tell the system to be exporting. Oh, look, there goes my first oily comb. Did you see it? Did you see it? I see it. That might have been two. It was either one and it was being a little, you know, touchy about the lag or it was two. Uh, sometimes it looks like two just because, but going to run this over here. There we go. All right, good. So now we can go in here and we can get frames. And we're going to go ahead and go with the impregnated frames just because uh, that's what we're going to... If I can figure out why the carpenters aren't working, that's kind of a, a thing there. But now we should be able to tell this to go ahead and... Oh, look. There goes a petroleum comb. You see it? You see it? I see it. Which one is it going to go into? Oily went straight down. Petroleum went to the left. Bingo. Petroleum comb. And it produced... Petroleum propolis. Excellent. Now we should see that pop up over here. And anytime up, up there, there it went. Sweet. So now we are getting. Oh wow, we're already up to six oily propolis. Sweet. And how about petroleum? One petroleum propolis, and this is already happening this fast, just from one alveary. And she isn't even close to dying yet. That is awesome. Now, as you see, the impregnated frames are da being damaged pretty decently. Hey, look, there goes some more. Awesome. So these are getting damaged pretty quickly. And, of course, that's why we want to have them be replaced. Um, now, I just do not understand why it is being like that. I don't know. Well, we got the yellow, yellow, yellow here. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to jump back through here. And we're going to, I think I actually have a yellow, yellow, yellow export around here somewhere. Yes, there we are. Yellow, yellow, yellow. All right. And two yellow, yellow, yellow. Oh, look, we're already exporting impregnated frames. So it's going to export impregnated frames and it's going to move them slash craft them. So now the only reason we aren't getting anywhere is because we are missing an item. And it says we're missing impregnated sticks. And we're missing impregnated sticks because for some reason the carpenter won't make them now. I don't know why not. I got all this set up correctly and it should be working. But it's not. So I'll have to figure out what's going on here. Uh, but understand that as this gets wood, as I'm pumping wood into it here as I am, it will make the impregnated sticks. The impregnated sticks will get automatically imported into the ME system. The ME system will then take the impregnated sticks, make them into frames, and then export the frames over here into the yellow, yellow, yellow chest. The yellow, yellow, yellow chest then puts them over to Honeycomb Hideout, and Honeycomb Hideout will then go ahead and export the frames from that into here and thus keep the bees producing uh, more stuff because they have more frames. So that's how this is going to work. The next step is going to be, well, first off, figuring out why the stupid uh, carpenter won't make the impregnated sticks like it's supposed to. That's kind of annoying. But uh, once we figure that part out, then we're going to put refined bees through all of the alvearies. Well, maybe not all of them. We're going to put them through a bunch of them. And we're going we're gonna to have it uh, exporting frames. And that way we can have lots of oily propolis and stuff like that coming through. Uh, then, of course, next episode, we're going to have to sh show, once I get all that stuff set up, we're going to have to set up the automated process of getting the oil and the 
um, fuel out of the propolis and putting him to use to making power. So that's what we're going to do next episode. Until then, this is Jaronitis signing off on episode 95 of 1.6. Uh, like me if you like me. Subscribe if you want to see what I'm going to get into next. Uh, once I get the power system up and running, then I've got a couple of other really cool things, and then we might even play with some of these new mods. So until next time, help spread the gaming.